So let's stop by Sea Center, Texas, one of our state's most important fish hatcheries and fish museums. All right, so check this out. You see all the fish hanging on the walls? These were all once state record holding fish, meaning it was the biggest of its species ever caught. Now I say at one point because many of these records have been beat, which is absolutely insane because these fish are monsters. And then this one will terrify you on all your beach trips, the Great Hammerhead. About four years ago, one much larger than this was caught in Texas, 14 and a half feet long. I've never caught a fish even close to being worthy of hanging on a wall, because y'all know the sort of fish I catch. It wasn't a whale that ate Jonah, y'all. It was a Warsaw grouper. I could fit one of my children in that mouth easily. You know, you kind of gauge its mouth, you know, like how big's the mouth? Well, I could fit one of my kids in there, yeah. <laughs> the aquarium here is really great and educational, moving from coastal marshes to deep offshore waters. Ooh, cool, check that out. We got some sheep's head. I don't think you know what you're talking about. I'm pretty sure that was a sheep's head because I've tried to catch one of those before and been skunked or sheeped. <laughs> rather. Look at that eel. Isn't that cool? But I think it's dead. Oh, wait, never mind. The eels are not dead. <laughs> Just in case you thought they were. Note to self never play quiet water, still water with an eel. But some of the other animals are much more active, especially in the touch tank. And luckily, the crab claws have been removed. Like, oh, he's trying though. He thinks he still has a claw. <laughs> this is like Port Arthur this, all over this again. This is hilarious. Even without claws, these critters are hard to catch. He still thinks he has fight in him. These are such strange creatures. Delicious too, but I didn't say that. <laughs> all right, you see the fish back here? Here it comes, look. Okay, so that is a red drum. It's one of the biggest game fish in all of Texas and one of the reasons the sea center here in Lake Jackson is so important. So let's go check it out. It's here that Texas Parks and Wildlife works around the clock to keep Texas Reds running in the water. This is hatchery head honcho Paul Kaysen to give us a tour. So this is one of our brood rooms at Sea Center okay. where we house the adult fish that we spawn to produce fingerlings. So the mamas and the papas. Yes, sir. Interesting. And it looks like we're in luck because Jessica's here and she's about Great. to feed the fish. All right, so this is a mixture of shrimp, cut up mackerel, squid, and beef liver. So that's what they're about Sounds to get. Good delicious. breakfast for them. Mm. <laughs> Whoa! Get after it. Like they've never eaten before. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's down to the good parts at the bottom. Sweet. These are monster red drums. Yes, sir. I guess that's why they're here. Absolutely. Each one of these tanks contains five fish. They're certainly over five years old, but they could be as old as 40 years old. Redfish lives till 40? They do. Unbelievable. Redfish are one of the big predators of our bay and a highly prized game fish. Texas waters need them to maintain their delicate balance. But fishing takes a serious toll. By controlling the light and temperature in this room, well, these fish can produce a lot of new babies for our Texas water. Evidently, invisible babies. All right, an empty tank. It's not empty, Chet. Take what? a closer look. Uh, it's definitely empty, Paul. There's, <laughs> there's 400,000 red drum eggs in this tank. I mean, I see some like little tiny things. That's how a red around. fish starts its life. There are literally millions of babies born here every single night, including trout and flounder, Oh, but they grow up so fast. And in just 72 hours, they hatch, turn into larvae, and get dumped into these outdoor ponds, where they'll get bigger and bigger until they're ready to move into our coastal waterways as fingerlings. But lucky for us, some of the fish get kept back for research and to help the next generation of anglers fall in love with fishing. So these ponds are full of bull reds and monster trout. This should be my easiest fishing yet. What's the biggest fish in here, you think? Uh, there's some red drum pushing 40 inches, and there's about a six-foot alligator. <laughs> what do they say about shooting fish in a barrel? Oh, a trout. Oh, that's a big trout, That's a really huh? nice trout. Oh, it's on now. And some may say this is cheating, and sure, yeah, probably. But it's still a blast. In 15 minutes, I've had more luck off of this pier than I've had in multiple trips to the bay. You guys. Keep up the good work. Keep putting fish like this back in the bays and oceans so that uh, we can all go out and catch them. Will do. So thanks for the work. All right, buddy. 
I'm gonna set you free again to get bigger. Adios, amigo. If you liked this video, chances are you're gonna love another video that's somewhere right about here. Or you can visit thedaytripper.com. But above all, what I want you to do most, remember the Alamo. I'll see all y'all out on the road. Bye con Dios, amigos.